You guys, New Supply isn't off happy with the narcissist. This has been a common thread throughout the last few weeks that I've heard, both in private coaching and in the audience. People get stuck. They stay stuck because they just cannot get past their narcissist is with a new person and they can't get over it. Like they're happy and pardon me, maybe he changed for her and maybe he's good now and maybe she's the one and maybe he fell finally in love and that's going to make him be better. You guys, they don't change. They don't change ever. They're not living off happy with new supply, which incidentally is the topic of next videos, that the narcissist isn't off happy living with them either. But let's talk about new supply right now, okay? Anything you went through, they're going through it too. Of course they are. It's just tailor-made for their displeasure, torture, or pain. Because remember, itchy nose, get into a fight or kiss a fool, they used to say, right? They mirror the person that they're with, the narcissist. So the torture, pain, and displeasure they're going to bestow upon somebody else might not be the same that they bestowed upon you. It might be slightly different. What bothers you might not bother this person. What bothers you might have been, you know, being manipulated, being triangulated, meaning make jealous with another person. That might really have done it for you. The other person might be not so faced by that, so they have to go into maybe gaslighting is that person's medicine when you tell someone they're crazy for even thinking something. That makes the new person go nuts. So that's the tool they use. They, they tailor make the torture for the person that they're with, but they don't stop devaluing. They don't suddenly fall in love. Uh -uh. I have a client in private coaching. Her narcissist even married somebody else, already messing it up. And I said, don't worry. He didn't marry her because he's so in love, head over heels. That's not why. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Here we are a few months later and the truth unfolds. They're not gonna make it either. They will marry someone to make someone jealous. They will do the oddest, strangest things to prove a point to people. And I feel like we all get obsessed with our narcissist with the new supply. I, I kind of have to say, I, I didn't, I didn't, I felt bad for the new supply. I really did. I knew what she was in for you guys. You guys have to turn that around. You don't have to do anything, but to help you, I want you to try to, what helped me turn a corner, you know, I like to tell you that. They are going through what you went through, the same, you know, um, weird behaviors. They don't text you back right away. They start in the same ways. That new supply maybe had a little bit of love bombing like you did, but don't sit in that and be jealous and concerned and worried about that part of it. But I just know he was love bombing her the way he did. Okay. So that's what they do. They probably said the same lines to the new supply. I spit. You guys, I get so upset. Look at me yelling. They probably said the same lines to the new supply that they did to you. Oh, yeah. You think they're Shakespeare and they can come up with all different lines for people. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. They can't. They can't, to use my accent. No way. No. They're recycling. They're recycling moves that they have. They're recycling words that they have. They're recycling. And what they think will affect the person, they'll use it. Now, again, might be tailor-made, right? That's what they do. They mirror. So if your thing is marriage and their thing is a vacation in Tuscany and this person's thing is a house and this person's thing is freedom, I'll give you your space, I promise. Meanwhile, they show up at your door two days later and take you to dinner unexpectedly, and you drop everything and go. Hmm, that was me. Yeah, I want my freedom, you know. I don't really want... Mm-hmm. And they convince you and change your mind. Oh, yeah. And they make you think they're going to be everything that you want. You guys, they're doing the same thing to the new supply. 
I promise you, I, they got married. Don't, doesn't matter. I don't care if they had a baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Doesn't matter. All I want you to think of, if that's the case, is that you are out. Maybe you're out. Maybe you left. Again, I don't tell people to leave, but if you did, you're out. They're no longer your problem. You can move on. They are in your past. This is your life now, and the new supply has to deal with them. And if they married them, oh my God, that means the narcissist love bobbed them sufficiently to the point that they said yes. Breaks my heart. And if they have a baby, which like I talked about, you know, recently on a video, if they have a baby with a person that can get like this, can you imagine living out your life, co-parenting with someone like this? So if you got out unscathed, meaning you didn't get married, you didn't have a children, so you're not bonded to this person forever, count your blessings and wish the new person well. Now, you might say, I hate her. She stole him out from under me. And remember, put your own pronoun in, make it your own. Mine's he for a romantic partner, so my stories follow that. Maybe she did steal him out from under you. Well, you get them like you, what do they say? You lose them like you get them. So you can hate the new supply. Of course you can. But don't obsess that she's happy off in the sunset getting this wonderful version of the narcissist that you wanted. That person doesn't exist except in love bombing, which always ends. They can't love bomb perpetually the need for devalue comes in. Fights happen. Things happen. Fire dims down. They need to be revered. They need a new audience all the time. And they will seek that on the new person. Is that what you wanted for yourself? When you think of the new supply, I don't want you to think of the love bombing. I want you to think of the devalue and everything they did to you. And the fact that the new supply is already going through all of that turmoil, chaos, drama. That's not what you wanted for yourself. And that's not what I want for any of us. And I don't mean to say let them have them, but kind of. And I hope the new supply gets, gets away too because the whole point of this channel is to help anybody going through this. I hope any new supply finds this channel and makes an appropriate decision for themselves. Don't be upset. Your new supply isn't so happy. I'm telling you, they are not. Even if they're making you think that they are and posting pictures and making the world think everything's fine. It isn't. I just wanted to mention it so you guys understand. See you next time.